Cause he gets up in the morning and he goes to These are graphs of derivatives. That's probably why I wrote f prime. Right? I'm not looking at the original function now. I'm looking at the derivative of a function. But I'm going to use these derivatives to sketch the original function. And I'm, I'm really going to look for two things. I'm going to look for critical points, and I'm going to look for relative maximums and minimums. Sounds like fun. Right? And this is what I always say. I say this every time to students, right? Say it again. When you're looking at a derivative, look at the y value of a derivative, and that will tell you the slope of the original function. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. So I'm just going to look at the y value, and I always begin by looking at where the y value is 0 or undefined. In this case, y value is 0 right here. I'll put a little dash line, y value is 0 right here. y value is 0 right here. When the y value of the derivative is 0, I have a critical point on the original function. Beautiful. The y value is 0 or undefined. Right. In this case, they're 0. They're all zeros. So now I'm just going to look at the y value. Is it positive or negative? So well, the y value of the derivative is the slope of the original function. That is correct. Okay. That's, yes, that is right. So here the y value is negative. I'm below the x-axis. Here the y value is positive. I'm above the x-axis. Positive again. It's negative. Sometimes students look at the slope of the derivative. Don't do that. Don't do that, yeah. Look at the y value of the derivative. <laughs> Stop looking at the slope. Good God. All right. This negative means the slope of the original guy is negative. Okay. So I have to go downhill. I don't know where I start. So you're going to sketch the original right now? Downhill. Downhill. This is the original function. Okay, good. Like, could I have started here and gone downhill here? Sure, sure. For some reason, sometimes students feel like they have to hit this point. You don't have to hit that point. Right. Downhill to this line. Okay. Positive slope, uphill. Uphill. Is that far enough? Sure, why not? Could I have gone up here? Yes, you could have. Okay. What's this mean? Ah, slope is zero, so it levels Flat. off. And then what? Oh, it goes back up again. Up again. And then zero, Flat, slope of zero again. Downhill. Downhill. Beautiful. This entire thing, it could be slid up or down. I don't know. So we don't know anything about the y values. We don't that know the y intercept or how know. high or low. We're really just focusing on the x values, Correct. the critical points of the Correct. x values. So this is, a, this is a picture of f of x. Beautiful. These are all critical points. This is a minimum point. It's a relative minimum. Can or I local. abbreviate? Can I say rel min? You can say rel min. Okay. Yeah. This is a maximum. Oops. Rel max. Or a local. Local max means the same thing. This is a critical point. They're all critical points. CP, CP, critical point. This one is neither a minimum or max. Right. right? Remember, minimums, relative minimum means I'm in a valley. If I take a step on either side, I go uphill. Right. Maximum, if I take a step on either side, I go downhill. Oh, I like the step to either yeah, side. Thank you. Thank you very much. Did you make that Here, up? Here, I don't know. Here I make a step, I go uphill, and on one side, downhill, and the other, that's neither max or min. Beautiful. Okay, let's do the next one. Let's ready? do the next okay. one. Here we go. This is a derivative. I'm just going to look at the signs of the derivative. The derivative, am I positive or negative? What's Thanks. going on here? Uh, right at where x is 0? Yes, that's what I'm That's asking. undefined. That derivative is undefined there. It is. That means that's a critical point. This is a critical point, and perhaps I should mention that we're assuming that the function is defined for all x values. So yeah. we're, we're going to assume that the original function is defined here. Very good. But the derivative is undefined. Very good. Okay, so on this side, my it y values have, are negative. The function wouldn't have to be defined for all x, but we're just going to say it is. We're for, just going to say For our it purposes. Uh, so this is negative y values, negative, negative y, y values. values. So do I go like, mm. wait a minute, that? No, yeah. I, I, That's weird because you want a negative slope. We don't really know anything about concavity, so maybe we should just draw a nice straight well i'm going to go downhill downhill and then you know is it flat here it can't be flat it can't the be flat not zero. and it can't be a point because a point would be undefined that would go back up so i think it's going to be ah it's one of those vertical you know, moments i'm trying to make this straight up and down does that look straight up and down to yeah. you there 
Okay, but then it goes negative again. So maybe something like this. Very nice. Downhill, straight up and down at just that point. Right, just and a then, tangent right. line is straight and up and down. Downhill again. That's gorgeous. Yeah, nice. that would have an undefined slope at that x value. Critical point, no max or min. No max or min. Okay, and the last one. Again, this is so fun. Yeah, I'm having a good time. Again, this is a place where the derivative is undefined. Okay. So a critical point must occur somewhere at this x value. And we're assuming that the function is defined for all That's x. That's what we're assuming. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, negative y value, positive y value. Oh, well, this is easy. It's a parabola, right? Downhill, uphill. Uh, <laughs> sadly, no. Sadly, no. <laughs> the well, maybe not sadly. I don't know. The, the slope is not zero here, of course. It's undefined. So, so I can't just go downhill, flat, and uphill. It can't be a nice it's round zero this slope. thing. Well, what could it pop? What's the other way that a slope it can It could be a sharp corner. Right. Downhill, sharp corner, uphill. And we don't know where that sharp corner happens Again, in terms of the y the value. Exactly right. But we know exactly where it is in terms of its x value. I intentionally didn't go, I didn't bounce it right off the x yeah, axis. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It could go below or above. We that. really don't know. Well done, Mr. Haas. So, just to be clear, these are pictures, these red lines here, they are not the derivative, they are the original function. The original function, which we are sketching from the... From the derivative. That's what we're doing. First derivative. Thanks. And he comes back home with 530, gets the same train every time, cause his world is...